Hey friends and family, my name is Skylint, and today we actually have an awesome, wholesome game that's been kickstarted called Odd Fauna Secret of the Terra Beast. We've got a reveal trailer, which I'll play a couple of times in the background, and we're going to be talking about some of the details in the Kickstarter, but this is a channel if you guys want to subscribe and like an algorithm boost in the comments, where we talk about new stuff and generally hidden gem things, and I think this title might be a little under the radar, though it's already pretty popular on Kickstarter, it is funded, and it will be produced. Now, a fun little story I found out about Odd Fauna because actually Instagram shared the Odd Fauna. I think it's like a couple where like one person draws and the other person sculpts or something like that. Um, yeah, they just were showing pictures of the little creatures that they make. And I'm a fan of monsters. If it's like fan Pokemon stuff, if it's like Alex Pardee kind of like, you know, Brightmare sort of things, all the way from grotesque to cute or wholesome. I like all sorts of monsters. I think it's so creative. And this game specifically, Odd Fauna, is definitely up my alley when it comes to the whole little space cute territory. So yeah, this title actually seems like it's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm looking over it, double checking it here myself, but if you just really like unique art and games as art and games as experiences, maybe, I don't know, if you if you play stuff like Animal Crossing, you know, those kind of titles, that Stardew Valley, you know what I'm saying? Then this might be sort of the kind of game for you. So. They do have $71,000 pledged so far of a $35,000 goal. What that is kind of telling me is that immediately people like this, they want to play it. Um, but also that this is kind of going to be more of a smaller project. It's definitely just more of a cute, more kept sort of indie title. It's going to be, you know, very, very quick, and, but I think it's going to cut uh, very well. So here's the game. It's a colorful sandbox open world. It does seem like the world is set on top of like a giant, oh, well, I guess, Terra Beast. So that's neat. And you're going to be farming. Yeah, you're going to be crafting tools and it's going to be kind of survival-y, uh, you know, kind of focused, but it's just going to be calm and something to kind of do. You know, a lot of these games, again, like Stardew Valley, kind of have that sort of gameplay loop. But there is going to be creativity involved, especially since there seems to be terraforming and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's going to be about gathering resources. There might be some danger. It looks like there's going to be some maybe possibly like dangerous beasts. So maybe some monstrous monsters, but for the most part, the game definitely is overall evoking a cute, cozy sort of vibe. So I think that's pretty interesting. All right, and let me actually interject here by just kind of saying uh, some things that are a little bit outside of the game in case you're interested in this. So this game obviously does have a moral message of environmentalism and actually, which is really freaking cool. Um, so this game for every single copy that is actually sold, they are working with Eden Reforestation Projects. They're going to plant a tree for every game sold. That is so freaking cool. Another thing that is also very interesting, if you know, just with the, the concept of how they're making this game, how they're going about it. Um, so the wife is actually hand sculpting all of the characters in the game. Everything that you see in the game, the, the, the creatures, they're actually sculpted and then they're 3D scanned and then, you know, modeled into the game. And again, that's just, I don't know, man, just the, the love that's being put into this game. And of course, the message and just the, the whole the whole package of this title um just kind of oozes like charm and just realness, you know, just like things that I, I'm, I could just real get behind. And I think a lot of you guys will as well. So yeah, we're gonna be playing as the character Astor. Astor is a special odd fauna, so an, an especially odd, odd fauna. Biological imperative is to seek out the Terra seeds. So I guess it's gonna be almost like an Easter egg hunt style game, which is totally cool with me. If there's gonna be platforming and puzzles to solve, absolutely, why not? So we have to form a symbiotic bond with the living world, which is the giant Terra beast, uh, in order to find the different seeds. Uh, so that's going to be the terraforming and stuff like that. Now, there are going to be some different friendly monsters that they actually show. And again, a big part of this game is almost kind of just like just witnessing the, the monsters. Like, you know, the first time you ever played Pokemon or the first time you've ever, you know, watched Digimon or something like, like that. It's it's just fun to see sort of like the bestiary, which, yes, I'm one of those kids. I would literally read and buy bestiary books. I fuck. I like monsters. So this world is filled with a bunch of these odd faunas, which actually, if you go on their Instagram, you can see the art, very inspiring, very cool. I, I love it. It's kind of emotive in a way. It's It's got a lot of character with the way everything is sort of like cursively kind of scribbled down. Um, but the monsters definitely have a cleanness to them overall, a simplicity and a straightforwardness and honesty to them that I, I really appreciate. Um, oh my God, just so, like cute little foxes and birds. Sure, some little dinosaurs, swamp monsters, why not? some like alpaca looking things, 
who knows but there are going to be some kind of spooky spooky monsters too it looks like from what we can see from the kickstarter and there's even legendary creatures ooh, you know kind of like dragons and stuff like that so i don't know how like scary those are if those are going to count as bosses or not but i have a feeling that this game is going to be more less about like combat you know like specifically combat and it's probably going to be more like puzzles and how to solve them like maybe there's a big dragon and maybe you got to give him an apple or something and you just got to figure out what food he likes and once you do you throw him an apple and then he won't eat you or so i don't know i i would imagine the game would be more like that just based on the vibe but i don't actually know so we, we got to keep that in mind and it does look like there's going to be little sproutlings as well um i'm not sure how the sproutlings are going to work in this game they kind of remind me of breath of the wild um, but no, anyway, so exploration is going to be a big part of the game. It's probably going to be the part of the game. It, it really looks like you're just going to be r walking around, meeting all these different monsters, the friendly ones and running away from the scary ones and kind of playing the game like an Easter egg hunt. Um, so terraforming, sculpting the ground, uh, not just the ground though, as well, it's going to be in general landscape. You're going to see some really cool stuff in the trailer, which again, I'm going to repeat over and over again, but this is a cool aspect of the game that we don't really see in a lot of titles. Like sure, technically you can do stuff like this in Minecraft, I guess, or do this in other crafting games, um, you know, like Animal Crossing, but that's almost cosmetic, almost cosmetic in those games. Um, here, I think in this title, this it's going to be part of the actual true gameplay and how you beat the game. Apparently, this is going to affect like temperature, soil qualities, uh, water level in the biomes, and that's probably how you're going to solve puzzles and actually truly like play the game. And you're also going to be growing plants too. So um, you're going to be crafting stuff uh, and making uh, astounding plants, they say. And they look pretty big, like they're, they're pretty substantial. These plants, these flowers are like tree size. So that's pretty cool. Bunch of different crops to grow. You got some berries. Okay, you got some crafting, doing some crafting. <laughs> I love the animations for everything, like the idle animation. This this game just oozes uh, adorableness. Um, but yeah, you do got to watch out. Like, um, you can actually spread fires, and you can also freeze plants. So all this stuff is is going to be come into play. You got to watch out what you're doing, and um, it, it's gonna probably evoke sort of a more of a scientific mind. I think this game is probably gonna be really fun for kids. Um, definitely, especially so. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Every action has a reaction in the world. Um, look out for thunderstorms, things like that. And apparently it says that allowing your terror beast to become unhealthy will present some tough challenges. So maybe if you are playing a little bit greedier, potentially, you know, and, and ruining the environment, um, you know, physically and then also the ecology, possibly there's gonna be more thunderstorms and, and more other issues that are gonna come and take place and make the game more difficult. Um, or maybe even have a game over state. I don't know. But that's a little, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's definitely cool. And again, the world is actually one of these odd faunas. It's a giant freaking, like, I don't even know, man. It's a terror beast. Your world is a massive living beast called a terror beast is what they say. Um, so that's cool. We don't need to read into the lore of that. You'll probably go and discover that yourself. But do know that every time you play, it is actually procedurally generated. So it's going to be different each time you begin a new adventure. So if you want to replay and, and kind of play in different ways, you can do that. And as the world grows, your actions do help shape it. Like literally, obviously you can shape it. But then of course, also with the ecology stuff and then, um, you know, how you play, maybe there's going to be more disasters and things like that. If you maintain a healthy Terra Beast, new biomes that grow and, and become fruitful they'll be fertile and healthy um and then you know more forests and stuff like that you can plant those and, and basically create entire biomes so that's a that's a really cool message i think especially in today's age um i think us millennials could definitely know and can definitely vibe with this oh my god this this whole game is just a vibe it's like such a mood uh, anyways so they do have some stretch goals i guess we could talk about that um they do want to actually make some really special um, music which it looks like they've unlocked that or they will unlock that advanced character customization that'd be pretty neat um but it looks like maybe they want to add sailing i think one of these things looks like it's going to be a boss um, more sprouts and things and just overall more fauna but we'll see um they're they're being very vague over you know even how much um they're gonna do i guess they don't really know and that's fine that's fine Anyway, so we can talk about the game development plan, but we're going to kind of skip all that. I just really wanted to shout out the game overall, um, mainly because I found these guys from Instagram and I enjoyed their art before I even knew they were making a game. Now I know they're making a game and then it's a type of game that I'm very interested in. Of course, I'm going to give it a shout out. Um, I'm going to put links in the description, actually. So Emma um, is actually the at Odd Fauna on Instagram. They are the illustrator. So go check that out. But then also the uh, husband, Cliff, 
is the game director. So they've worked on animated films, AAA video games like Dragon Age, Halo, How to Train Your Dragon. And so together they're making this really freaking adorable, really universe. Um, I would very much doubt that it actually ends with just this game, mainly because there's already a subtitle. So this is Secret of the Terror Beast. I would not doubt if Odd Fauna becomes an entire franchise of comics, of course, art, um, probably, I don't know, man, like it could be a movie film and probably multiple video games as well. So I do think that this is going to be something um, kind of like the beginning of something really special. Uh, at least that's what I'm vibing with. I'm hey, I like monsters. I miss monsters being really popular and big. Um, and I think that we're definitely going to have the pendulum swinging back, especially with like Monster Hunter coming out. Um, a bunch of these like cozy, you know, wholesome games involve monsters. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely think that Odd Fauna is going to probably spearhead this future, you know, like Pokemon Snap, cute, cuddly monster sort of thing going on. Um, so yeah, I think it's really cool. Anyways, so if you guys want to fund it, check it out. This is definitely a project that um, I would recommend actually to be kickstarted to actually help fund, but definitely keep some eyeballs on it. And I'm glad that I, I don't know, I was able to share it just a little bit. I know I'm not super popular or anything, but um, hey, when I'm excited about something, I want to share it and get you guys excited as well. So anyways, what do you guys think about Odd Fauna and other similar titles like this? And if you know of any, please shout it out in the comments below. I can already name a few. Maybe we'll do actually a list video if you guys are really excited about stuff like this. But if you want like a where the wild things are kind of, I don't know, environmental puzzle, cute, cuddly, wholesome game. Uh, I think that this is it, but who knows where actually Odd Fauna is going to go in the future. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I got to say. And that's it. Thanks so much for my Patreon donators who, you know, who make the whole YouTube uh, a thing. <laughs> and thanks to those um, who also just comment and hang out with me in YouTube here. And join my Discord, please. Let's talk about games and shout out new stuff. That's it. Much love. I'll see you in the next one.